Okay, um, this is our third tutorial, and I'm gonna start it straight away because this is the fourth time I've actually recorded it now. Because every other time, my computer has crashed, and I'm actually gonna throw it out the window in a minute because it is so annoying. Don't know how annoying it is, but anyway, um, it's 3D Max. Just click on your 3D Max, open it up. It's one of the best, um, 3D all kinds of thingy that you can get out of their programs it's the best one I know but you might find a better one but uh, I'm just gonna do it in this today because it's a pretty cool one and yeah it's gonna take ages to load up ages but anyway it is now loaded loaded so you got your four little thingies, tabs, just click on the bottom right one and go to shapes, right here, shapes, text, type in whatever you want, I'm going to type in drift, that looks okay, and just find a one you want to use, don't want to use that, no I don't, I want to use that, click it there, resize it to about 25 so just so it fit on your workspace and look pretty cool now you've got your work area here zoom in if you want and now you can see you've got your text but it's not 3d so to do that just go to modify modify a list and go to bevel and then scroll down, change the height. Kind of as we want. I love it as that. You can leave everything else alone unless you want to change it. You don't have to, but I'm going to leave it alone at the moment. And if you want to look at it now, you can go just see what it looks like. It's not going to look anything like this at the end. But I just go render production, and that's it. Still looks pretty cool, just like that. But anyway, click out of that. And now, what you're going to want to do is go to say let's have a think yeah why not you've got this 3d and everything you can re put it in a different position so it comes out like that that'll look pretty cool um so just change your position where you want it to actually go from when you start the intro now just go to m on your keyboard click m this is where you're going to change all the colors and just go to ambient and change it to a uh, let's say a dark blue, is that going to work? Or a dark red? That'll look nice, dark red. Uh, bring the red in, and then you can go to the render production, and that looks, it looks decent, but not good enough. What I want it to look like. Will that look better? No. Let's just, just move it around till it looks how you want it to look. The actual thing, that looks pretty good now. I'll leave it as that. Uh, text is bad, I mean the font's bad because it, it just is. Um, I could be bothered to get a good one. But anyway, now you've got all that, you're just going to go to create cameras, create camera from view. Because then it's on the view that you see in here. Oh my god, it's done it again. That always happens to me when Emerson just randomly signs in. But yeah, um, you got this up you got your new camera and just go to the beginning of this and click auto key um, drag it forward a bit to say actually no leave it at the beginning click on here field of view if you want to make it look like this one and just drag it in to say there and then you can pull this thing the little zero to 100 move it along to say 25 click on this again and drag outwards again to say there now that's just going to look like this at the moment, it's going to go to there, okay? Um, if you want it to do something else, you can make it do something on the way there, you can make it say halfway, go roll camera, so it does that, so it goes bins you might want to move this so it's a little bit less quick not as quick 
but anyway that's the basics of it um, you're now you can of course spread these out I'm gonna move that to 50 actually in this to about 25 ish so it's a little bit slower and then when you get to 50 you might want to move on say to 60 and you can go to this orbit thing and this is just where the 3d is gonna actually come in and make it look sexy just click on that orbit and you can drag it into a new position so say that and then leave it so it's going to go from there so it's going to go out it's going to come out and turn left a little bit and then when it gets to here you want to go to 70 odd and click back on here and just drag in to full on red and that I reckon will look pretty nice if we space it out properly so let's just go to back and click play it's going to spin out come in boom now I'm going to move that all around because that looks too quick for my liking so I'm just going to put this at 95 this at 80 this at 65 and leave that at 30 so it's going to be spinning out drift come in back in full on red now as I said already this is really simple you can use all sorts of stuff and I'm going to maybe bring out some more hard stuff in 3ds max but at the moment I'm going to keep it to the simple stuff because even with the simple stuff it still looks cool uh, you can click on that see what it looks like from that view it still looks pretty cool um, to render it you're going to want to go to render setup and you're going to want to change the range of so what this means where it says range it means where you your actual where it starts and where it finishes so from here so you'll, I'm going to put this one to 0 to 95 because that's where my last thing is and that's where it's going to end so 0 to 95 and then just go down to change it you can change it to whatever you want change it as HD TV which is 920 by 1080 or I'll choose 1280 by 720 that looks, that, that'll be fine like that and then once you've done that bring it down and go to files and save it to where you want to save it to. I'm just going to save it as drift and then save it as a type and you're going to save the type as if I can remember an MOV or an AVI. I'm not sure. I'm going to save it as an AVI just to be sure. But anyway, I then just click save. If I get this wrong, I'm sorry, but you know you'll be able to figure it out, I've already said it's either MOV or that and once you've done all that just click render and you're done um, thanks for watching subscribe uh, spread the word on us and also go on to Universal FX and look at the visions editing thing and there's my first ever try at editing with fast paced music so I hope you like that and I hope you like this tutorial and yeah peace out